Welcome to our DCC High School Lottery Choice Process presentation. My name is Irene Vane and I work in the Down County Consortium office with Montgomery County Public Schools. In our presentation today, you will learn some basic information about the choice process, as well as hear what an academy program is and which academies are offered in all five of our amazing DCC high schools. We have students from at least nine middle schools feeding into all of our DCC high schools. So students, my message to you is this, please keep an open mind as you approach learning about the programs available at all five high schools and don't only consider the school that your best friend is going to because you will have an opportunity to branch out and meet lots of new people. As you listen, think about which school might be the best fit for you. So let's start with the basics. What is the DCC? The DCC is a school assignment process for students living in Montgomery County with the base area high school of Blair, Einstein, Kennedy, Northwood, or Wheaton. Eighth grade students who reside here participate in a lottery to be assigned to one of the five DCC high schools. If I have any families tuning in that are in a special program at one of our DCC middle schools, you will also have an opportunity to participate in the lottery to attend a DCC high school during round two after the DCC residing students participate in round one. So what is an academy program? An academy is a sequence of courses designed around a central theme. The central theme is usually related to a career theme that appeals to students' interest. This makes coursework relevant by helping students make connections between personal interests, skills, and possible career paths. Each of our high schools have from four to six academies. Now let's learn about some of the academy programs from students and academy coordinators. Hello and welcome to Northwood High School, home of the Gladiators. My name is Holly Jones and I am the academy coordinator here at Northwood. We are located at 919 University Boulevard in Silver Spring. Our student enrollment is over 1800 students and we have five fantastic academies and one signature program. We have so many amazing opportunities here for students. We have our Finance, Accounting, Marketing, and Education Academy, our Humanities, Arts, and Media Academy, our Music, Theater, and Dance Academy, Politics, Advocacy, and Law Academy, and our Technological, Environmental, and System Sciences Academy. We also have our Montgomery College Middle College Program, MC Squared for short, where students can graduate with their associate's degree before they graduate with their high school diploma. Now we hope you enjoy some information from some of our Academy students. and I'm currently a senior at Northwood High School. I attended Irby Wood Middle School and I'm currently in the Politics, Advocacy, and Law Academy. My favorite activity that I did for the PAL Academy would be when we came together of all the academies at Northwood and we tie-dyed t-shirts. It was a good experience to just meet the students, meet the staff, and it was a good bonding experiment. My best course that I took for this academy would be the Intro to Law and Admin. It was just a good introduction into the law and it definitely piqued my interest to continue on the academy. And I met amazing people who were also intrigued about the course that I wanted to do and we were able to bounce ideas off each other and also plan activities, do mock trials. I'm going to apply this into my life because I plan to be a lawyer. So I wanted to take the academy that could give me the best knowledge about law, what I should and shouldn't do, and I learned a lot about criminal law, civil law, about suing people, and I definitely want to apply that into my life by having borderline knowledge about what it takes to become a lawyer, even a paralegal, or anything in government. This is definitely the course you should take. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Christian Estrada, and I'm a former SSI Jaguar, now attending Northwood High School as a junior. I'm a member of Northwood High School's exclusive MC Squared program. And to put it simple, the MC Squared program is a program which allows high school students to not only graduate with their high school diploma, but to also get an associate's degree from Montgomery College. They do this through rigorous coursework such as AP classes and taking actual classes at Montgomery College. 
One of my favorite classes that I've taken is Criminal Justice 110, where a professor came to Northwood just to teach us specifically. And one of my favorite memories from this program includes a potluck, which me and my friends and our professors had to celebrate the semester. You make great friends and meet even better professors. Hi, my name is Maddie. Uh, I go to Northwood High School and I'm in the Ham Academy. I went to Silver Spring International Middle School. Um, my favorite course in the Ham Academy has been uh, probably journalism because of just the amazing people and the amazing things we get to do in that course. There's a lot of fun hands-on activities and it's not your normal sitting around and just doing papers in class. You get to go out and get interviews and work on things and it's really enjoyable. Um, I think my favorite experience has been probably just the amount of new things we've gotten to try. The teacher, Mr. Fox, he's really cool and he's really fun to work with and he gives us a lot of new opportunities to try new things and learn new things and he lets us really go outside of our comfort zones and have fun with it. Um, we get to do a lot of writing about what we want to write about and not so much what we have to write about, which makes it really fun and personal. And recently I got to like brush up on Photoshop skills, which I hadn't used in a very long time. Um, and it's just really enjoyable. So overall, all of it's been my favorite. We hope you enjoyed our very brief tour of Northwood and we look forward to meeting you in the future and hope to welcome you home as a gladiator. Hi, my name is Jennifer Granados and I am the Academy Coordinator here at John F. Kennedy High School. Here at Kennedy, we offer different programs and academies that prepare you for post high school, college and career readiness and allow you to have a high school experience that you will remember. We offer two application based programs our International Baccalaureate, our IB program, and our signature program, the Leadership Training Institute, LTI. We also offer five self-selected academies that you can pick from. We offer Broadcast Journalism and Communications, Business Administration and Management, the Healthcare Professions with three different pathways. Pick from one of our three certifications, which include Certified Nursing Assistant, Certified Clinical Medical Assistant, or physical rehab with a certification and personal training. We are also the only DCC school to offer NJROTC and we offer the Teacher Academy of Maryland. You are able to participate in sports, clubs, extracurriculars, and complete an academy. Listen up to hear from our different CAVs and their experiences within our academies. Hi, my name is Esther and I am a current sophomore at John F. Kennedy High School. I previously attended a Lorderman Middle School. I now am a part of the Broadcast Journalism Academy and the Leadership Training Institute here at Kennedy. Some of my favorite academy experiences from broadcast journalism was when we took a trip to Long Beach, California for the Student Television Network Conference and it was super exciting and I learned so many new things that I could apply to school and life after school. I plan to major in broadcast journalism in college and I feel that this academy properly prepares me for life after high school if I wanted to work in that field. LTI has taught me what it's like to be a leader in the classroom and outside. You learn so many things with your classmates and you develop friendships with the people in your classroom. My favorite and most memorable experience from LTI was the entire freshman year where every class we had a discourse and it was fun and it was like a break from our regular schedule. I highly suggest that students look into Kennedy and the academies that they have to offer because here you get an experience like no other high school in MCPS. My name is Francis and I went to Farquhar Middle School, but currently I'm a senior at John F. Kennedy High School. I'm also a part of the Business Academy here at John F. Kennedy. Uh, and my favorite Business Academy experience was um, being encouraged to come up with creative new business ideas and to share with my classmates um, the ideas and, how, and to get feedback on how to improve on them. Um, some of the courses that are available in the Business Academy here at John F. Kennedy are accounting, business management, and entrepreneurship. Um, and my personal favorite was accounting because it correlated to real life, like learning how to, we learned how to file taxes and how to manage uh, our money, use money, and budgeting, and also how to save up and uh, also increase uh, our money. Um, my plans after high school is to go to college and major in management information systems and 
uh, that will further my education in um, management, business management, and also computer science, which will help me in my career choice. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lisa Gerhardt, and I'm the Academy and Application Coordinator here at Wheaton High School. Wheaton High School currently has 2,400 students, most of whom reside within the Down County Consortium. Our principal is Dr. Josh Muncie, who not only taught here, but also went here as a student. Wheaton has four academies, two application programs, and four programs that connect students to the Thomas Edison programs right around the bus loop. Every ninth grader chooses an academy to participate in while at Wheaton. Our four academies allow students to dive deeper into a program of study that they are interested in. Our academies include our Bioscience Academy, our Engineering Academy, Global Studies Academy, and our Academy of Information Technology. In addition to our academies, we have two application programs open to students who live within the DCC. Those programs are for our biomedical program and our engineering application program. Both of those are accelerated math science programs. Now let's hear from some of our Knights about their experiences at Hello, Wheaton. My name is John Richmond. I'm in the Engineering Academy. I've been at Wheaton for two years, going into my junior year. Um, I want to talk about you with you about some of the courses I've taken. I've taken three courses in the Engineering Academy, uh, Intro to Engineering Design, Principles of Engineering, and Digital Electronics. Um, of those, my favorite course has been Intro to Engineering Design because it built kind of the fundamentals of engineering and what it means to use the engineering design process to solve problems. Um, I've been on the robot robotics team for two years now, and uh, I've used what I learned in IED to help make this robot, which is uh, cool. We built it in about six weeks, entirely student-made, no adult touched it. Um, but most of the students in the uh, robotics team have taken IED or one of the engineering courses here at Wheaton. If any of that sounds interesting to you, then I'd, uh, I suggest you, you come check it out. Uh, come to one of the open houses. I hope you like it. Um, hi, I'm Anna Creel. I'm a junior at Wheaton High School. I'm in the AOIT Academy or Academy of Information Technology. Right now I'm doing AP Java, which is my third computer science class. Um, my favorite class though was Programming 1 because I went in there knowing nothing and now I just know like, how to code the basics. I have a better understanding of what coding actually is. I thought it was going to be really hard, but it's, if you follow step by step, it's not that hard. It's like learning a new language. It may seem intimidating, but you should definitely give it a try. Because in college, I want to be a white hat hacker or like for my future job. And the, the course at Edison for cybersecurity will really help with that. And I'm just excited to learn and be able to do more stuff and apply it in real life. So please just come and join like the AIT Academy at Wheaton. Hi, everyone. My name is Pratiksha Das, and I'm a junior at Wheaton in the Bioscience Academy. I really love this academy because it allows me to explore my passion in science and apply this to everyday life like medicine. I'm specifically looking to pursue a career in medicine and the labs that we do here really helps me gain my passion for it even more. We've done PCR tests, which are super similar to the COVID tests that you guys take. We've done multiple dissections to help us learn more about anatomy in our HBS class. And we've done bacterial transformations to learn more about biology on a microscopic level. However, there's so much you can explore in this academy, like biotechnology, healthcare, research, microbiology, and so much more. So if any of this appeals to you, you should join the Bioscience Academy at Whedon. Hi, I'm Beth Sanchez, the Academy Coordinator at Montgomery Blair High School. With over 3,000 students, led by our proud principal, Mrs. Renee Johnson, we are the largest high school in the state of Maryland. In addition to our two application programs, the Communication Arts Program and the Math and Computer Science Magnet, we also offer five career academies. At Blair, our academies are wall to wall. All Blazers have an opportunity to enhance their high school experience. We provide unique electives and events that allow our students to explore their career interests. Our career academies include entrepreneurship and business management, Human Services Professions, International Studies in Law, Music, Media, and the Arts, and STEM, our Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Let's hear from some of our Blazers about Montgomery Blair High School. 
My name is Daniela and I go to Montgomery Blair High School. I am in the Media, Music and Arts Academy where I can explore my love for arts. Some great classes I've taken are TV Productions, Foundations of Art and Theater. In TV Production, I have focused on learning how to edit videos and create content for YouTube as a social media influencer. Blair may be a huge school, but in TV Productions, which was my favorite class, it allowed me to have a one-on-one -on -one collaboration with my teacher. In TV Productions, I have had the opportunity to work on projects that have overlapped with some of my core classes. The teachers at Blair will be your biggest supporters and will provide you guidance and acknowledge your talent. Blair is an amazing place with so many clubs to get involved with. I'm currently in the Black Student Union where we discuss the culture and political obstacles minorities face. Film club where we watch and critique movies. African diaspora where we focus on stereotypes that we have created by our own community and we fundraise for nonprofit organizations as well. My future plans are to pursue my passion for content creation while earning a degree in political science and project management. I'm confident that the skills I have learned at Blair will help me succeed. Blair is a great place and the right place to be. Hello, my name is Daniel Mohari and I am a senior attending Montgomery Blair High School as part of the STEM Academy. Uh, Blair STEM Academy provides an opportunity to immerse yourself in Blair's rich STEM courses in various fields as you explore your interests. The Academy provides you with pathways that guide your course selection and extracurriculars as you look to define your particular interests before heading off to college. For example, through this Academy I discovered courses such as Organic Chem, uh, Intro to Biochem, Neuroscience, and Cell Physiology. And I can confidently say that they have advanced my interests in the sciences. One of my favorite STEM experiences uh, as part of the Academy was when I worked with uh, the Academy coordinator and helped organize a guest, guest speaker event where Dr. Kathy McGuire Zeiss, a neuroscience professor at Georgetown, came in to talk about her career and research experience. After graduating with a bachelor's degree in neuroscience from Duke, I hope to gain admission into medical school and ultimately become a neurologist. Blair is an amazing academic institution that is different from other high schools. It's very large and diverse and, and has a lot of opportunities to enrich your academic experience in and outside of the classroom. If you are a driven and independent student looking to take advantage of the opportunities around you while working with students from diverse backgrounds, Blair is the place for you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ian Anderson and I'm a senior at Montgomery Blair High School. I'm also in the Business and Entrepreneurship Academy. The Entrepreneurship Academy at Blair teaches students the skills and knowledge needed to start and run their own business. It involves a comprehensive curriculum, real, real world learning experiences, and guest speakers and mentors from the business community to help students succeed as entrepreneurs. There are so many different courses available, including accounting, economics, marketing, and personal finance. My favorite academy course was marketing, as I was able to combine a lot of what I learned in other classes and apply to the real world through economics. Throughout the class, we had a few guest speakers from the business community that I was able to learn a lot from. One of Blair's unique qualities is its diversity. Blair High School has such a diverse student body with students from a wide range of backgrounds, cultures, and nationalities. This creates a super welcoming and inclusive environment that I found built me tolerance, empathy, and understanding towards others. Another thing is Blair's academics. Blair's magnet and cap programs along with ac academies offer students a wide range of options and career, career paths. Lastly, Blair's clubs and extracurricular activities are what makes Blair so unique. I've participated in many different clubs, ranging from robotics to spike ball. Along with that, there are plays, sports teams, and events happening all year long that are either free or cheap to students. Being in the Entrepreneurship Academy helped me so much in deciding what I wanted to, my next step to be. Next year, I'll be studying finance at the University of Pittsburgh and being a part of their business, living, learning community. Thank you. Hello, my name is Trisha Gooley and I am the Academy Coordinator for Albert Einstein High School. I'm here to introduce you to the academies and the special programs that we have here at AAHS. They are truly what makes us the place to be. As I explain our programs, I'm also going to show you some of our school campus. At AAHS, we have one magnet program, one school-based program, and four academies. 
these smaller learning communities that promote connections among students, staff, and specific fields of study. They help build teamwork and leadership skills, guide students in course selection, encourage academic challenge, foster connections to the community, as well as offer real world experiences, such as guest speakers, internships, and trips. Our countywide magnet is the VAC or Visual Arts Center. All MCPS students must apply and be accepted to attend the VAC. The VAC is a nationally recognized program that offers a comprehensive, rigorous, advanced studio art curriculum with an emphasis on portfolio development and helps students to realize their full potential as visual artists. In their time at the VAC, students develop a broader understanding of the fields of fine art, graphic design, commercial arts, social media, and also gain some perspective on potential careers in the arts. VAC student artists are consistently recognized on the local, state, national, and international levels. Our second program offering is the IB program or the International Baccalaureate program. The IB program offers students the opportunity to pursue college level courses in a supported high school environment. The IB curriculum is driven by critical thinking skills and offers differing perspectives with an internationally minded approach to learning. At AEHS, our IB program is open access, meaning that all students have the opportunity to take IB courses and pursue the IB diploma. There is no application. Our first academy program is the Visual and Performing Arts Academy, or as we call VAPA, where students have the opportunity to pursue pathways in both the performing and the visual arts. In visual arts, we have studio art, photography, ceramics, digital art, and arts and crafts. Performing arts pathways include general music, instrumental and choral music, theater, and dance. Up next, we have our Academy of Finance, Careers, and Technology. There are so many exciting opportunities in this academy, including the National Academy of Finance for those interested in pursuing business and marketing, hospitality management for those of you interested in tourism and or the culinary arts. We have our computer science, which is coding and website development. And finally, our college and career readiness program, which helps students to ba balance a active work schedule while they're gaining their credits for their high school diploma. All our Teacher Academy of Maryland is for those students who are interested in pursuing a career in the educational field, whether it be a teacher, a school psychologist, a counselor, or an educational specialist. The program provides scholarship opportunities and statewide articulation with certain Maryland colleges and universities for students who successfully complete the TAM program. AEHS is very proud to be one of only two schools in Montgomery County with the TAM program. Finally, the Renaissance Academy for College Readiness is where students focus on college readiness through 21st century skills and their application in all subject areas. Students have multiple and varied opportunities to earn college credit through dual enrollment and AP courses. Students can also gain recognition through the Maryland Seal of Biliteracy and the AP Scholars Program. We really hope you join us to find out more about Albert Einstein High School in our open house in October. We look forward to meeting you and sharing this amazing community of AEHS, truly the place to be. Thank you for your time. Hi, class of Potential Titans. My name is Azamina, and I know that you all are looking forward to high school and hopefully deciding on what career path you would like to follow into your future. If you are looking for a career in business, Albert Einstein has the Academy of Finance, Careers, and Technology, aka AOS. I'm a student who has been in the Academy of Finance for three years now through different courses. I have learned about how to manage my personal economics, debit and credit, and accounting. I have been able to participate in job fairs, scholarships, and internships. Being involved in the AOF Academy has pushed me to participate in many opportunities, such as the Future Business Leaders of America Club, Millionaires Club, Chick-fil-A Leadership Club, and much more. In addition to everything I've already said about the AOF program, it has been very beneficial, interesting, and financially relevant to me. So I hope you all will consider joining us. Thank you. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Anjali and I went to Sligo Middle School and now I'm a senior at Einstein. 
I am in the International Baccalaureate or IB program and pursuing an IB diploma. Being an IB diploma candidate requires students to take IB courses in six core disciplines, as well as take a discussion-based class called the Theory of Knowledge. IB offers versatile class options from IB Chemistry to IB Theater. I'm very interested in politics and government, so last year I took IB Economics, and this year I'm taking IB Global Politics. My favorite memory from being in the IB Academy was visiting the Vietnam and MLK Memorials in DC for my IB English class. Even if you are not part of the IB program, you can still take IB courses, and I would highly recommend taking IB English. Over the past year, my writing has improved significantly, and for the first time, I genuinely enjoyed learning Shakespeare. IB students are very close-knit, making it easy to work in small groups or ask each other for help. So join us at Albert Einstein High School and join the IB program. Hi, my name is Rena Smith, and I'm a member of the Visual and Performing Arts Academy here at Einstein. I also attended Odessa Shannon Middle School. In the Bapa Academy, I have taken many dance classes. I have taken dance two, junior dance company, and dance company. My favorite Bapa experience was being able to choreograph a Bollywood piece for the spring dance concert. This Bollywood piece was my capstone project. And it was a very rewarding experience because I was able to share my culture with my fellow peers and the school as a whole. And I'm very thankful for the BAPA Academy allowing me to channel my creative side and to exhibit my form of art to um, the school environment and everybody as a whole. So when talking about Einstein in general, I love the Einstein atmosphere and the school as a whole because everybody really gets into the school uh, environment and the school spirit spirit really allowing the atmosphere to become very welcoming um, and make every student feel accepted at Einstein. Thank you students and coordinators for your presentations. I want to give you some brief information about the choice process and timeline. As we look to the fall, in late September, there'll be another opportunity for you to learn about the choice process and academies. October is usually open house month. This is an opportunity for each DCC high school to showcase their school during an evening event. The other thing that happens in October is we'll be mailing you instructions on how to participate in the choice process if you are an eighth grade student enrolled in MCPS DCC Middle School. If I have any private school families watching, October will be the time you can make an appointment to pre-enroll your student so they can receive a student ID number and access a choice form. If any of you are in a special program at a DCC middle school, you will be receiving a mailing in mid-October as well. This mailing won't be instructions on how to participate in the choice process just yet, but it will explain that you'll be eligible to participate if you so desire during uh, what we refer to as round two, and that will occur in February. For residents of the DCC, your choice form will be due in early November, and then you'll be notified of the results of the lottery and where you'll be assigned to go to high school in late January. So, choice form submission. What does that look like? Once we mail the instructions in mid-October, students along with your parents will type in a web address that is provided in the instructions that you receive and the choice form will automatically pop up. You will rank order your preferences of high school from first choice through fifth choice. Then as a parent, you are going to provide your name and email address and we will automatically send you a receipt of the choices you've submitted. So it's important for you to know that one of the factors considered in the lottery is base high school. Your base high school will be determined by your home address. Assignment to the base high school is guaranteed when it's placed as your first choice on the round one choice form that is submitted in November. 
It's also guaranteed if it's placed second on the round one choice form and your first choice is enrolled to capacity. If you are unsure of your base high school, you can use the assignment locator tool on the MCPS website and we'll also indicate your base high school in the instructions letter that we mail to you in October. So that brings us to the end of our presentation. This was a very basic introduction to the DCC, and I know some of you still have additional questions. Feel free to reach out to any of the people listed on this slide. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful evening.